Welcome everyone. So today I will show you how to make a Zencash wallet on CentOS. Uh, it might also work on Ubuntu, but I'll show you. Uh, I'll make a tutorial on CentOS and I'll make another tutorial on Ubuntu uh, shortly. Alright, so first of all, if you don't have CentOS, you can get a VirtualBox. So open Chrome and then come here and just look for virtual box. All right, Oracle virtual box. Download. And then Windows OS X for uh, Mac, Linux, or whatever. So I'm on Windows right now, so let's just download Windows. Keep. And anyway, for the download. All right, in the meantime, you can go to centos.org right here. Go to centos now, and that um, you can get the everything ISO. And then you can just uh, choose which one you want. So, like some of like say this one, and then just gotta wait for uh, the ISO to open up. All right. Once you have the ISO. Um, We can install VirtualBox. And next, next, next. Install. And then just wait for it to install. All right, but I already have VirtualBox, so I'll go. So I'll do cancel. Yes. And then um, virtual Oracle VM virtual box right here. All right, so here is virtual box. So you do next and uh, new. Then just send OS. Uh, I don't know, like Zen. And then mm, Linux. We can go for a uh, red hat and then upgrade the uh, RAM to at least two. So that would be uh, 2048. Use virtual disk, VMDK. Next. Um, I would do a fixed uh, size. Because it uh, boosts the machine faster, we can do a dynamical allocated, doesn't really matter. And then we can just do uh, 20 gigs. Yeah, uh, this usually takes longer as well, so I'll be back when uh, this is done. And so once you have your um, virtual bus, your, uh, your virtual box all set up, you can just do a uh, gum here, optical drive, and then uh, choose disk image and then yours should be in under downloads uh, yeah should be under downloads but mine are somewhere else all right into a seven all right and then you can just press start All right, and now as you can see, you have your virtual machine up and running. Okay, so uh, first of all, we'll just do language, simple installation, so English. Date and time, choose your time zone, whatever. I'm somewhere here, so it's all right. And then uh, installation destination. You have to double click here, and then begin installation. Or you can do this as well. I mean, turn on. And then you have your uh, IP address here. All right, done. Begin installation. All right, root password. You can do whatever you want. I'll just do one, two, three for 
no. And then whatever name you want. So a Shabor. Then password you want. I'll do one, two, three again. All right, and also you have to double click on done because one, two, three. If you do one, two, three for some reason, it's not a safe password, so it'll tell you that well, it's not a safe password. Choose something else. But if you double click on it, it'll say, "All right, you know what you're doing." So keep it. All right. So from here, just have to wait for the installation to uh, finish. So I will be back when that is done. So now that your installation is done, you have to do a reboot. Alright, so this was a minimal installation. Alright. Um, if you are if you're not familiar with um, well graphical installation, you can do um, yum well let's just enter first. Alright, so root. I don't recommend to enter in root, but I'll do it anyway. Ah, screw this. I don't recommend this, I'm not gonna do it. Alright, so Shabor123. Shabor123. Alright, now we're in. Now we're in. Um, so now I recommend you to do sudo yum install xorg star and genome star. Uh, one, two, three. All right, so sure is not sudo or file. Ah, shit. All right, sudo. All right, root. All right, let's do the same thing. Yum install xorg all genome all. So what this is doing is it will download the require the required packages and stuff like that to start the graphical interface. Alright, so you do yes and then you just wait for the uh, 511 megabytes to uh, download. Alright, and here it asks for a key, so just do yes and let it go again. Alright, so when this is done, you can do start X and then it will open up the um, graphical interface or the GUI and then go in application uh, wait hold on a second alright English just finish the setup right here can skip it start alright and now I come here and then um, you can do, uh, alright, we're already root, so yum install uh, Firefox. Alright, when Firefox is installed, Firefox. And then can go on github.com and then look for Zen. Uh, and then right here, zencashio slash Zen. From here, just follow the step for CentOS. If you use uh, Ubuntu, you can just use this. So uh, sudo apt install, and uh, then can install all these. Um, and so from here, you copy this. All right. From here, copy this. Mm. Open a second terminal. And then if you're not root, you have to do sudo, but since I'm root, I'll just use this. 
All right, as you can see here, it says fourteen three six two. So fourteen three six two, um, and it's kill nine. Fourteen three six two. All right, from here you can install. And then yes. In the meantime, right here. Copy, paste, yes, and then from here, you download everything here. So you can take everything, and copy, and then you can just wait a few seconds for this to finish. Alright, when this is done, you can paste what you just copy, uh, what you copied here, and then it seems like I didn't install everything, so I'll just take this. Yeah, install, paste. Alright, and then from here, you copy this, copy, and then do git clone, enter, and then just wait for the git to um, install, to download, sorry. And then once this is done, all you gotta do is, Follow these steps. You copy this. You paste it. Well, all right. And then, right, as you can see here, there's Zen. CD, Zen. And then just follow what it says right here. So you copy this. paste it and then you have to wait and then once the compiling is done which should take around 30 minutes you copy this you paste it and then you and then once uh, the fetch params that sh is done you do uh, copy this and you can start the um, actually no once this is done uh, you have to create the um, config file and I will show you on my other virtual machine on VMware here all right and then here you go to um, whatever folder your uh, dot Zen uh, folder is and do vim or vi and then zen the conf. All right, as you can see here, I have RPC user, RPC password. All right, and then you put RPC user, RPC password, and then you can uh, control ZZ to save and exit. All right, when this is done, you can go back to um, your Zen folder right here and then you can start uh, the Zen D uh, it's actually in SRC slash Zen D alright already running because it's here Alright, as you can see here, I have 8 connections, black height, I'm at uh, 12,000, almost 13,000. And then if you want to uh, do whatever comment, and then when you want to get your uh, first wallet, you go Zen, CLI, uh, get new 
address. Oh, right. SRC. SRC. New address. Or right, method not found. Um. Oh, I'm missing a D. Get new address. And right here, you have your Zen Cash address. All right, so this is going to be it for this tutorial. I showed you how to install um, VirtualBox, how to set up your CentOS, and how to um, compile and start your Zencash um, wallet. So I hope that helped you, and I will see you in the next uh, video. Have a good one.